Hi there, Linda Goodall here. Recently, there was a question in one of the Hatch Facebook groups on how to make spiral text in Hatch. Here you can see two examples. I have the baseline here in green so you can see how they compare. The only difference between these two is this one starts on the outside and works in. This one starts on the inside and works out. And notice how that changes how they align on the baseline. Now there is no spiral text tool in Hatch. If you put text on a baseline circle where the text is longer than the circumference, it just overlaps itself. Still, there are ways to do it using the Any Shape Baseline option. Let's see how to do that. So here I've already typed in my text. It is a standard freeline baseline, and I need to change it to the Any Shape Baseline. Now nothing has happened yet, and that's because this tool is really a reshaping operation. So with my text selected, I'm going to click on reshape or just press H on the keyboard. And I'm just going to start adding nodes along my baseline. Now notice nothing still has not happened. And that's because we just put nodes on a straight line. To get anything to happen, we need to start moving things around. So we can just start moving things around. Now you're thinking, oh, how am I going to get that into a spiral? Well, we have some tools in Hatch that will make it easier. So from the Digitize Toolbox, I'll click the Circle Oval tool. I'm going to turn on a hoop so I can get a gauge of my size here. And I'm just going to left click there in the center, drag almost out to the perimeter, left click again, press Enter. I have a circle. And it's got a ripple fill on it. But I need to change that to something pretty wide. So 25 might work. And that looks pretty good. Now, I chose 25 because I want something to kind of mimic the baseline spacing that I would need for this size text. And you'll have to play around to determine what that is for your text. Now, I want my spiral to start kind of up here. So I'm going to click it again. And I'm just going to rotate that so that that spiral thing is starting right there. And if you wanted your text to spiral in the opposite direction, all you'd have to do is just mirror it. Now, we can't just say, use this baseline. That would be cool, wouldn't it? But what we need to do is now conform this baseline to our spiral. So I'm going to zoom out a bit and then make some quick adjustments here. And I'm going to move this down like this, my text, so that it's kind of more up there. And I'm also going to change it to left align. So now it's just a matter of taking these nodes and matching them up to my baseline. And you can add and delete nodes as you work. And I'm just right clicking to get a curve baseline. And mostly you'll want curves. I only have left clicks at the beginning and the end. And for now, I'm just sort of approximating the shape because we can always adjust it later. And I'll zoom in, press B on the keyboard. And I want this to end more like right over here, maybe. So I'll add a few more nodes. And now I'll kind of fine tune it so that my baseline matches up. So even though this is not instant, you can see how making temporary objects in Hatch can make your life a whole lot easier. Because once we made our text, we can get rid of our spiral. And if I want my text to end right there, all I need to do now is to right justify. So you can center it, right justify, left justify. You could even do full justify. But I don't really like that spacing, so I'll go back to this. And if you want to change the spacing on your text, we can do that too. And when you're happy, you can just delete this. I'll hide it for now. There's our text. If I want my text to start more up here, once again, I can just rotate it. So I'll click it again and just kind of rotate it all about like that. Now we do have one problem. Text is normally working from left to right. And that means our text, our stitching is going to spiral inward. This is not a good thing. Because what happens is it pushes the fabric and you'll end up with a little mountain here, or what I call the Madonna effect. And we don't want that. 
Instead, we want the fabric to always be pushing towards the hoop. So what I can do is I'll just select my text, go to the lettering tab, and down here under advanced, I'll click stitch right to left. So now it's going to stitch this way. And if we go to our stitch player, we can actually see that it does that. So spiral text is not a common thing, but if you find you need it, this technique will help. Do keep in mind that you'll probably need to play around a bit with your circle size and your spiral sizes. It's not really that hard once you understand the process, but it will take a bit of time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and do make a comment if you want more videos like this.